Dad, what can you tell me about the 1943 riot in Detroit? Oh yeah, I was living with my room with my cousin in an apartment building, and they said, uh, they say it's, it's a riot. He said, uh, it started Bill out, and they said, uh, they, they, they're coming this way. So white man throwed a, 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 a African American baby in the river, in the in the lake, in the lake, and uh, and that would start the riot. And the riot went on, right went on about three or four days. And the gov it, the governor was named Governor Romulus. Governor Romulus said Detroit looked like it been bombed. And 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 Governor Romulus sent for the uh, state troopers, and state troopers brought it under control. That's about all I remember of that. Dad, Governor Romney was the uh, governor during the 1967 riot. I was talking about 1943. Oh yeah, yeah, you you remember better than I do. Yeah, you right. He was he was the, he yeah that was the 19 because they had, they had two riots here. Yeah, yeah. And you remember both of them? I remember both of them, but I but I forgot how to how to. Uh, 67 right, right. Where were you living during the first one? See where I was living? Mm-hmm. I was living on McKinley in an apartment building with my first cousin Lang, Landon. Yeah. Did you go out during that time? No, we stayed in that first day. And, uh, cause, cause the black people was killing up the white people. And, 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 uh, I went to work the next day after it started. Yeah. Yeah. Where were you working then, Dad? I was working at the wheel company, Kelsey Hayes Wheel Company. They'd make wheel for the big three. Did you have any concern about going to work during all that? Yeah, I was concerned. That's why I didn't know about it, because that's why I didn't go the first day it started, because I was scared. <laughs> Do you know anybody that was involved in the rioting? I didn't know nobody personally, but one guy told me, he said, uh, did you get anybody? He said, I got one of them. Yeah, he was an African-American African -American guy, and he'd kill a white guy. I told him, I said, no, I didn't, I, I didn't involve in it. I just stand shy of it. Yeah. When the riot happened in 1943, how long had you been living in Detroit? I'm trying to think of what year I come out because I grew up in South Carolina, 30 miles out of something, South Carolina. I forgot, I forgot that part. What year did you move into this house on Pacific? Oh. Me and their mother, I bought this house in 1952, and we moved it right after I bought it. Okay, so you'd already, you'd already been here a few years before you bought the house? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been here longer than three years before I bought the house. I want to ask you one more question, Dad. Why do you think that people got involved in the riot? I think I mentioned to you. A white man, a white guy, he was healed. He was a hateful hillbilly. He threw a black African American lady baby in in the in the lake, in the water, down at Bill Isle. You know that 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 water that 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 lake of water they got down there. That was started. And why do you think? What do you think kept it going for those few days? Huh? What do you think kept it going for those few days? Oh, they, they was just getting out of control, and, and, and that's why the government, they, that's why the government uh, sent for the state troopers to get, bring it in control. And, and when they, they come with tanks, you don't know how a tank look, they come with tank. And um, uh, I was on uh, Claremont, but I wasn't living there, I was over there with my cousin. And three or four of us were sitting on the step, and they 
they roll up there with the tank and they say, get inside, get inside. And they turn them, turn all of them, spin around and turn all the gun on us. And we were running over one another, <laughs> getting inside. That's how it went. Yeah. There, there aren't a lot that, of... That's what was breaking out of control, the day troopers. There, there aren't a lot of people around today who can tell the story about the 1943 riot, so I want to thank you. Oh yeah, you're welcome, son. Love you, Dad. Yeah, you're welcome. Love you too.